Asia fully supports and looks forward to the adoption and notation of all the ASEAN Social Cultural Community Outcome Documents at the 38th ASEAN Summit. This commitment was addressed by Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Dr. Sri Hajar Nancy Shukri at the 25th ASEAN Social Cultural Community Council meeting. In a brief remark via video conference, the Minister said that Malaysia aims to heighten the collaboration on the cross-sectoral and cross-pillar coordination through Bandar Sri Begawan Strategic and Holistic Initiative to link ASEAN responses to emergencies and disasters. Malaysia is confident that the concluded midterm review of the ASEAN Community Pillars Blueprint 2025 will pave the way towards strengthening cross-cutting issues and establishing a high-level task force for the ASEAN Community's post-2025 vision. Dato Sri Nancy Shukri in her speech emphasised not only on the importance of physical but crucially of mental health as well, which has deteriorated worldwide throughout the pandemic. This meeting was joined by Secretary General of Motec, Dr. Dr. Nurizari Hamad, alongside Cultural Policy Divisional Secretary, Dr. Tan Awang Basar, and International Relations Divisional Secretary, Dr. Christina Yeo, who shared the importance of the ASCC's outcome documents. Outcome documents, uh, today we have 30. Some is for adoption, some is for notation. So these documents are all carrying what is the plan of action and also the way forward for all the priority areas. Guided by the theme, We Care, We Prepare, We Prosper, the 25th ASEC meeting envisions the aspiration of ensuring the whole ASEAN community can sustainably prosper. At this critical juncture for the ASEAN community, cognizant of the challenges and opportunities regionally and globally, Malaysia is confident that the cross-collaboration between member states will bring ASEAN closer towards an inclusive, sustainable, resilient and dynamic community.